reference again? Probably not. Second of all, all the powers given to Robin are better than the powers given to Raven. Third of all, this is just lazy writing. It's so unsatisfying, it makes the scene where Robin turns himself into a duck seem completely pointless. Before we get to his powers, we get a scene that contains about 25% of my problems with this show. Raven and the other Titans force Robin in his bird form to do the chicken dance. Okay, first of all, Robin specifically said he fused with a Robin, not a chicken. Well, that's just nitpicking. No, my real problem is the animation. This show's animation is just like Breadwinners. They use photoshopped images instead of real animation. It looks really bad, it's not funny in the slightest, and it goes on for way too long. And now for the worst part of this episode. Robin gets the superpowers and solves all the world's problems, then he gets a job, then he gets really old and- Whoa, 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 slow down there, man. The big problem with this episode is that nothing happens until seven minutes in. Then they finally decide to have a plot. But by the time they do that, they only have about four minutes left, so they have to rush everything. So I'll try to tell you this as slowly as possible. Robin gets superpowers and solves all the world's problems in three seconds. This is just really stupid and lazy writing. Anyway, since all the bad guys are in jail, the Titans have to find other jobs. Okay, first of all, other villains will be born. I guarantee you there will be other bad guys in, I don't know, a few days? Second of all, since when were you guys getting paid? Third of all, teen is in the name of your show. You guys are kids, you shouldn't have to work. Anyways, Robin gets a job and gets really bored. So then we skip to like 25 years in the future where he's tired and old. Then we 